Nearly a month into its invasion, Russian forces are continuing their air assault on major Ukrainian cities, despite making little progress on the ground. Now there's concern Russia may turn attention to U.S. companies in response to crushing sanctions. Elise Preston has details. The White House is warning that Thank Russia you. may wage cyber attacks against businesses and critical infrastructure in the U.S. The magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential. Addressing CEOs at a business roundtable, President Biden called on them to take precautions. And I would respectfully suggest it's a patriotic obligation to invest as much as you can in making sure. The potential attacks come as Russia has stalled in its invasion of Ukraine. Flummoxed, they've been frustrated. Uh, they have failed to achieve achieve a lot of their uh, objectives on the ground. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby says the U.S. has seen clear evidence that Russian forces are committing war crimes. The port city of Mariupol has been largely cut off by the Russians, but new satellite photos show the destruction, including the wrecked theater that may have been sheltering more than 1,000 people. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky paid tribute to 96-year-old Boris Romanchenko, a Holocaust survivor who was killed by a strike in Kharkiv last week. On Monday, in Russian-controlled Kherson, troops fired stun grenades and gunshots to disperse pro-Ukrainian protesters. And in the capital city of Kyiv, the result of this furious blast Sunday night destroyed a shopping mall, leaving multiple people dead. Elise Preston, CBS News. The United Nations General Assembly is expected to vote this week on a resolution demanding Russia to stop its attacks. The resolution is expected, also expected, uh, to denounce Moscow for creating a dire humanitarian situation and urge access for aid workers.